Complications arising from the use of filler materials in aesthetic medicine can be classified into early, subacute, and late categories. Early complications include erythema, edema, pain, or pruritus at the injection site, as well as secondary infections, hypersensitivity reactions, or tissue necrosis due to vascular occlusion. These are often associated with poor technique or inappropriate product choice. Therefore, precise anatomical knowledge and adherence to the injection planes are essential for reducing risks. Subacute reactions may appear between 12 and 24 hours after injection and present as whitish papules, edema, localized infections, or even the Tyndall effect, characterized by a bluish discoloration after the superficial infiltration of hyaluronic acid. In the case of hyaluronic acid, effects such as cystic granulomas, irregular reabsorption, overcorrection, or unesthetic discoloration may occur. Hyaluronidase represents an effective therapeutic tool in these cases, allowing for immediate correction of excess product or elimination of the Tyndall effect. On the other hand, calcium hydroxyapatite may induce visible nodules in areas like the lips, which is why its use is discouraged in that area. Permanent fillers, on the other hand, cause the most complications, including chronic inflammatory reactions, product migration, and difficult to reverse overcorrections. Finally, with thread lifts, complications can be immediate, such as inflammation or bruising, or late, with risks of infection, asymmetry, or extrusion of the thread. Clinical follow-up, proper documentation, and informed consent are fundamental pillars for good practice and patient safety.